What does it mean when you say the Bible is God-breathed? What does it mean that God breathed Scripture into existence? What is inspiration? Let me tell you what it is not. A lot of times to figure out what something is, you have to figure out, first of all, what it's not. It is not mechanical inspiration. God did not dictate these words. He impressed them upon their hearts. They were perfect when they came out. But it's not like God said, okay, you just be there. You just be a a dummy, and I'm going to speak through you, and you're just a microphone. That's not how it worked. God did not do that. You see their personalities. When Paul's writing, you'll understand that his personality is there, but all of the things that he wrote that were in the canon of Scripture, they're all inspired by God. But he didn't, God didn't dictate it to him, okay? And it's not dynamic inspiration. Some people say, well, it's just the ideas that are inspired, but not the words. You know, I don't want to say goofy, but that's just plain goofy, all right? I mean, how can you have ideas without words? What are you even talking about? And so, yes, it's not just the ideas that are inspired, but the words are inspired. And then some say, well, part of it's inspired, partial inspiration. And that's when people say, well, you know, we'll just take and pick what we want. You know, only parts of the Bible are inspired. And so that way, you know, if they don't like what the Bible says, then they can just do the other and feel good about it. And then some say, well, it's kind of a naturalistic inspiration. It's like any other good book, like the writing of poetry. Oh, it's kind of inspired by man. I want to say this to you. This is not the book of the month. This is the book of the ages, all right? Don't compare this when it comes to inspiration like any other book. So what, that's what inspiration is not. What is inspiration? It is verbal and plenary. Write those phrases down. They are theological words, but you need to know them. Plenary means that all of it is inspired. Plenary, all of it. Psalm 119, verse 160 says, the sum of your word is, is truth. The totality, all of it, all of your word is truth. It is inspired. And every one of your righteous ordinances is everlasting. So all of the Bible is inspired. And then the words are expired. And that is what we get the word verbal, verbal. Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, right after he said the Beatitudes, he said in Matthew 5, 18, For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke, that's where you get the phrase jot or tittle, and it's talking about parts of words, not even entire words, parts of letters, I should say. He said even the parts of the letters are inspired. (laughs) So it's all inspired. If the letters are inspired, the words are inspired, it's verbal inspiration.